So hi, I'm Dana. I'm one of the paramedics at Redmond Medic One. I'd like to show you a new technique for intubation that is pretty slick. Uh, in Redmond, uh, last month, there were 13 intubations. 12 of them used this technique and all had first pass success. Uh, and one guy actually intubated six times last month and said he used it every single time and he says it's the bomb. So let me show you what it is. Basically what we've done is we've taken a regular Eshman and we've fed it into an endotracheal tube and then we stick the, uh, the Eshman through the Murphy eye, just a little tiny bit, just enough to hold it in there. Works best with a 7.5 uh, tube, but it can work, this is a seven and it will work in an eight. Once you get below a seven, it's a little difficult to get it through the Murphy eye. So the last thing you do is you pull this until you get your little black line on the Eshman, which is where your mouth is, and you get this nice little loop that makes this very, very stable. Let me show you the process of how this works. Basically, you go in and get the best view that you can with your intubation, and I have a grade one view. I'm gonna stuff this right in the cords here. I'm in there, and right until I hit the mouth like this, then I'm gonna grab it with the, the, uh, the handle, lock it to the handle like this, and use this hand to get it, pop it out of the Murphy eye. Then I come back again and I drop the tube in and I just float it in and I can see the Eshman out the other end the whole time. So I'm not too worried about holding on to the Eshman until I get to where I need to be. Then I grab a hold of it again like this and lock it in and then I just pull the Eshman back out. And then I bring my blade back out. The advantage of this is one, by locking this to the handle, you keep the blade in the mouth, which gives you the opportunity to see a little bit better as you float the tube in there, and it makes the tube go in a little bit smoother. All right, give it a try. Thanks a lot.